In this segment we'll be showing you how to program your Rainbird ESP ME controller. Everything on this controller works with this dial and these buttons right here underneath the display. So if I turn the dial over to set date, it is blinking the day. Currently it is the 16th. If that was incorrect, you would use the plus or the minus to adjust the day to the correct day. I'm going to use this arrow over key as a cursor button and I'm going to push it once. That will bring me to my month and again plus or minus will adjust that. Arrow over again. That will bring me to, bring me to my year and I can adjust that. That is your current date. Let's come over here to time. It is blinking 11 and an a.m. If that was incorrect, again, using the plus or the minus, I can make adjustments to the proper time. Arrow over will bring me to my minutes, and I can adjust that as well. That is your time. Setting watering start times. This clock has a capacity to water six times a day. Typically, you're not going to be watering six times a day. So, with an established yard, you'll have your first start time set at the time you want to water, and then you will have all the other start times using the arrow over key. I can adjust those. You'll have two would be off normally, three would be off, four is off, five is off, and six would be off. To get rid of a start time, I'm going to push this back to start time two. Right now it is at 3 p.m. To get rid of that, I'm going to use the plus or the minus, and I'm going to take that 3 p.m. basically to midnight. Between 11.45 p.m. and 12 a.m. is an off position. So, if I choose to turn start time 2 off, then I can go back, and I only have time on start time 1. So I'm only watering one time on the days I'm going to choose to water. That is watering start times. Station runtime. If this is a system put in by Nebraska SOD, you should have a yellow sheet above your controller in the garage that will tell you how long we recommend each zone to run. On this particular clock, you can choose using the plus or the minus to adjust whichever station you'd like more or less time. So for instance, I'm going to arrow over to zone 2 and I'm going to adjust it for more than 10 minutes using the plus up to 15 and then you can adjust all your station run times with this part of the dial. Coming down here to days. When you turn it to the days here, Monday through Sunday, you have a display showing you watermarks underneath each one of the day. If there's a watermark underneath the day, it will water on that day for the amount of time you chose on the run times at the time you've chosen to start it. Let's say for instance I do not want to water on Monday and I want to water Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday. While we're on Monday, I'm going to hit the minus button and it turned Monday off. It put a circle around the watermark with an X through it. I can then leave Tuesday on. I can turn Wednesday off with a minus. Leave Thursday on. Turn Friday off with a minus. And turn Sunday off. Then if you look at the display, we have Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday with watermarks next to them. It will water on those days of the week. Coming over here to advanced watering cycles. We've chosen to water by days of the week. So we are choosing which one of the days of the week we would like to water. If when I'm on advanced watering cycles, I hit the plus or the minus, I can go into other functions. So if I hit the plus, it is asking me if I want to set up a cyclic um, watering cycle. You could do that as well, and that would set it up so that you would be watering every two days for instance, or every five days, so you'd be watering in a cycle of every five days. If I hit the plus button, you can set it up to water only on odd days, such as one, three, five, or if I hit plus again, you can water on even days, two, four, or six. I tend to prefer choosing which days I'd like to water, so I leave it the advanced watering cycles on by day. Seasonal adjustment. This is a percentage, so for instance, we have the station runtime set at 15 and 30 typically, and this is set at 100%. These stations will run at 15 and 30 minutes, how we have it set up. If I wanted to adjust this percentage down to, for instance, 50%, now 
Even with my station runtime set at 15 and 30, I'm going to be watering at 50%, so they'll actually be watering only 7 and a half in 15 minutes. It's not something that gets used a whole lot, but if you do decide to use a what we call a cycle and soak program, which you can see on our website as well, I run you through that, you would be using the seasonal adjustment on that. Delay watering. If, for instance, you're watering Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but you don't want to water for the next four days, for instance, I can hit the plus and delay watering for four days. It's telling me I have four days remaining before it will start watering. So even if you have it set on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, it is going to skip watering for the next four days. Rain sensor. We also have a segment on this website showing you how to uh, control your rain sensor. On this controller, if I turn the dial to rain sensor, it is telling me it is active. That means when we get rain in the rain sensor, it will shut this controller down. If for some reason I'd like to bypass it, I can simply hit this minus button and I've bypassed the rain sensor. It will no longer shut this controller off when we get rain. I'm going to currently leave that on active. Coming over here to manual one station, let's say I would like to run one particular station, just let's say uh, station two for instance. I'm going to use this arrow over key. I'm going to choose zone two. I'm going to turn this dial, whoops, excuse me, I'm going to Hold down this manual start button for about two seconds and it is telling me manual station has started. Zone 2 is going to run the amount of time I have it set up to run on here. It will run that one particular station and then it will just resume its regular programming. If I wanted to, let me turn this off for just to get that station to stop running for demonstration purposes. If I wanted to run the whole program, so I have let's say four zones set up here to run, and I want to run all four right now. If I turn it to manual program, hold down this arrow over key where it says hold to manually start for about two seconds, it is now going to manually run a program. It's started and it's telling me zone one is on. It's going to take 23 minutes to run. Test all programs. If you wanted to run through every one of your zones, for instance, for two minutes, or if I use the minus key, I could run through every zone for one minute. While on test, again, hold down this button for about two seconds, and it is turning on now, and it's going to test every zone you have time on for the amount of time you've chosen to test. If I turn the dial to off, of course, this clock will do nothing. It won't run any programs while it's on off. If I turn this to auto run, it is telling me, let's take this delay watering off, turn it to run, it's telling me today is what day it is, what time it is, it's telling me I do have a seasonal adjustment in here and it will run its regular program. Everything we have set up right now is on a program A. When you're adjusting your station run times and your days it is saying PGMA, program A. This button here has the capacity to move it to a B, C, or D program. If you wanted to run a B, C, or D program, you'd simply push the button, choose which program you want to water, and for instance, if you had some landscape zones that were set up, if you had those in your yard, you could run those on a separate program independent of your, of your turf watering on program A, you could run it on a B program, or a C program, or a D program. Uh, this particular controller and for this yard it does not run a B, C, or D, so we were just going to leave that on A. If I turn this back to run, it will run its regular program. That is the Rainbird ESP-ME.